Hi and welcome. So in this video, we want to look at how to do a simple competitor analysis for other websites, which we might be competing with. Again, this is in the broader context of wanting to design and build our own WordPress website. So we think it's a good idea to take a little bit of time and, and see what's already out there, what's working, what's not, and how you might approach things differently. So let's get started. Now I'm going to open up Google Chrome and I'll drag over a new window here. And what I might propose is two things. We'll, first, we'll go to Google Drive. And we'll open a new document. And we'll create a new slide deck. And this will just sort of be the workspace that we might choose to use. And next, we're going to go to udemy.com. And we'll show you our product. Splativity is the name of our company, our actual company. And we have two courses. Now, we generally do time management. So these are our two courses. So time management and productivity and time management, how to build a system of success. Sort of when I thought about doing a competitive analysis, I was like, well, let's just search for time management and productivity. Because our case is perhaps a little bit particular in that most of our students come through the platform of Udemy udemy.com and so we want to sort of know what the other people are doing so we'll pick this as an option and then we'll pick this and so if we go into our course and you scroll down you can sort of see what their course is about you can click on the the instructor and then if you scroll up to the instructor portion you can click on their name and you can go to their website now it looks like this person's website doesn't exist, so that's potentially good for us. If we go to Patrick's website, let's see if he has one. We go here. Patrick has this website, so he has some titles, and then he has a little video. It looks like he's doing some trainings, and then some more call to actions. And we scroll down. So that's one competitor. Another competitor might be subset this. And we scroll down. And oh, look, there's our course. And maybe we could do TJ Walker. Let's do this person. And we'll go to TJ Walker's thing. And We'll click on his website, and this is sort of what it looks like. So now we want to use a framework called SWOT, and there's a lot of different ways that you can do competitive analysis, but one way that we like to is we like to break it into four boxes. So I'm going to quickly change the setup of this slide, and we'll go here, and we'll go strengths. weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And when you think about when you think of strengths, I like to think of it as what do you want to emulate? And when you're Thinking about the competitor's weaknesses, what do you want to avoid? And then here are the opportunities. What do you want to leverage? And then threats, I like to think about it as protect or defend. Sometimes up here, instead of leverage, we could be attack. So. Emulate, avoid, attack, and defend, or strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, i.e. SWOT analysis. And so what I propose is we go and we actually make this two separate pages. And we'll go and we'll sort of think through some of the things that we like about these competitors and some of the things that we don't. So one opportunity or one weakness, the thing we want to avoid would be broken link or 
So we want to have our site avoid being like this, where you go to the website and it just is a terrible thing. Now we could also think of that, we could reframe that as an opportunity. So if someone has a dead link and it's important to have a website, we could essentially exploit that to our advantage. And then if we go to here and we scroll down, uh, what are some of the things that we like? So you could think about having a video And if you scroll down, some of the weaknesses might be too much text, too salesy. I don't even know if that's a word. Um, but these are pretty hard sales. And you could say poor UI. or poor UX, probably is a better way to put it. Now, some of the things could be, it depends whether or not you like these colors. It looks like there's a huge amount of inf information, so an opportunity might be a simpler site design. A threat could be, a to some degree, it looks like it's an established brand. I'm trying to be consistent here, but. And an opportunity could be a newsletter or strength could be a newsletter. And it looks like they have some real testimonials. So strength is real. We don't know if they're real testimonials and let's see if we click here it looks like this person is connected to social media so we could say Now if we go and we look at the second example, or technically I guess it might be the third, we could say that here, we could, ooh. I'm just gonna change the page layout, custom so that it will fit more on the page. And so we could say strengths is coherent color comp, color palette. I'm not sure how to spell palette actually. This again looks sort of salesy, but has a rounded photo. So you could say some good design principles. And so what are the sort of if we go back to what are the opportunities, we could have simple site design, we could have clear color combo, we could have low sales pitch, and we could have, we'll call it sexy site visuals. So I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, I think there are the, some CSS things that we could do uh, that would allow the site to really pop. And so if we go back to our SWOT analysis, we sort of looked through a couple of the competitor sites and we looked at what they were doing well. We sort of mentioned that we liked the fact that they had video, that they had some real testimonials, social media connections, they had a coherent color palette, at least one of the two sites did, and that they had some good design principles which we then chose to uh, incorrectly spell. In terms of weaknesses, things we want to avoid is broken link. So if we go back, we'll get out of full screen. If we go back, uh, we wanted to avoid this problem here with the broken URL or a website that doesn't exist. 
Some of the sites had too much text. We thought they were a little salesy and the poor user interface or poor user experience. That leads us to opportunities. So if we were to create a site of splativity.com with a more simple site design, that could be cool. We want to watch our colors, have not too much of a sales, hard sales approach. And if we could make our site pop visually, that would be pretty sweet. And then we sort of thought the major threat was some of these established brands. And then if we're being honest, we could say visibility on which is specific to our case here, but because we sell most of our courses through the Udemy platform, it means that if someone can't find us, then it's really maybe the fact that we have an external website is not important or it's way less important. So we might wanna think about how to rank higher on the Udemy platform. All right, so that wraps up our straightforward somewhat simple competitive analysis. In this video, we wanted to really just think about taking a moment to think through some things that you are going to want to copy from your competitors, as well as some things you want to avoid and sort of how you might go about doing that. If you join us in the next video, we'll actually start putting some of this to practice and doing a wireframe design. We'll start thinking about how we can lay out our site in a way that we can execute and sort of use the opportunities that we've defined, like a more simple site design, the different color combos, and some sexy visuals. So join us for that and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.